three by three systems are uh, just bigger systems than what we've dealt with in the past. Now remember our naming convention here that we saw a while back. Three by three means that we're going to now have three equations uh, by three variables. That's all the by things. So we have three equations by three variables. Up to this point, we've only seen two equations and two variables. So how do we handle this when it gets more complicated? Well, first off, let's take a look at an example of a three by three system. So let's say we have, I don't know, x, so let's make it easy. Uh, let's see, that would be n and All right, so uh, here's a, an example of a three by three system. Notice we have three equations with three variables in the system. So how do we solve something like this? Uh, well, we're gonna use our uh, addition elimination method. That's generally the easiest one to use in this case. We're just gonna have to do it more times than we added to in the past. So our short term goal is, I don't know how to solve a three by three system, but I do know how to solve a two by two system. So if I could come up with two equations with the same two letters in it, I would know how to solve that. So the way that we're going to do this, let's start with our steps. Um, step one, take a pair of equations and eliminate a variable. Now we're going to do that just using a, our substitution method. I mean our substitution, our additional elimination method. So we take a pair of equations, we're going to get rid of a letter. Uh, take a different pair and eliminate the same variable. That's the idea here. So if we take two equations and we, uh, we eliminate a variable, then we take two different ones and we eliminate another uh, variable, uh, then we're going to end up with two brand new equations uh, with the same variables in them. So solve the new, I'm going to say two by two system, and step four. back substitute. All right, it's a lot of work, but it's actually not that difficult. Now, just for notation purposes, a lot of times it's helpful to label these. Uh, you can label the equations A, B, and C. I'm going to do them one, two, and three. Now, the first thing you need to do is decide what's the first letter you're going to try to eliminate. So just because it's the first letter, I'm going to eliminate X's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equations uh, one and two, and I'm gonna bring them over here to the side. So I have x plus y plus z is equal to three, two x plus three y plus five z is equal to 10. Now, if I'm gonna get rid of the x's using my uh, elimination method or addition method, I want the same number in front of the x's, but a different sign. So I'm going to take the first equation, multiply that by negative 2. So that gives me negative 2x minus 2y minus 2z is equal to negative 6. 2x, 3y, 5z is equal to 10. Now notice when I add these together, the x's go away and I put 5 plus 3 or y plus 3z is equal to 4. I have a brand new equation here that only has two letters in it. So let's call that equation four. We're going to put that to the side just for a second. All right, now just for room's sake, I'm going to have to squeeze this in right here. So let's draw a line right there. Now I need to take a different pair. I can't use one and two again, but I can use either one of those equations with three. So let's say I wanted to do one and three. So, uh, Let's see, the first equation again is x plus y plus z is equal to three. In the third equation, we have negative three x plus two y plus four z is equal to three. All right, now this time you don't have a choice anymore. Since we got rid of x the first time, I have to get rid of x this time. 
Again, to get rid of the x's, we want the same number in front of them, but a different sign. So I'm gonna have to take the first equation and multiply by three. So when I multiply my first equation by three, I have three x, three y, three z is equal to nine. And my second equation was two y, four z is three. All right, now when we add these together, hopefully our x's go away, and they do. We end up with 5y plus 7z is equal to 12. So now we have a brand new equation, again, that just has y's and z's in it. Let's call this equation 5. Okay, that's kind of the first half of our problem. Now what we want to do, again, I'm going to give myself a little bit of room to separate this. You can kind of think about this now as a brand new problem. We now have two equations, y plus 3z is 4, and the one we just came up with, 5y plus 7, 7z is 12. All right, so this was our system. Again, I'll label them. We don't really need these labels over here anymore, but this was equation 4 and 5. Okay, so now we want to uh, solve this system. So this is what we've been doing in the past. From here, technically, you can use the substitution method or the elimination method to solve this two by two system. I generally suggest, since we've already been doing the uh, addition or elimination method, keep doing that. So to finish solving this, I'm gonna take the first equation, I'm gonna multiply it by negative five. That'll get rid of my y's, that, that's the easiest. So if I take that first equation and multiply by negative five, I get negative five y minus 15 z is equal to four, four, negative 20. Don't forget the other side. Negative 20, five y plus seven z is equal to 12. Let's see, when we add these together, I gave negative eight z is equal to negative eight. So that's easy enough to solve. Negative eight z is equal to negative eight divide, I get z is equal to 1. All right, once we have one value, we plug it back into either one of the original equations. I know y plus 3z is equal to 4. If I plug that in for the z, so I know that that's right there, I get y plus 3 times 1 is 4. So skipping just subtract 3 from both sides, we get y is equal to 1. All right, so we have two values now. We just need the third. So once you solve the two by system, we're going to back substitute. You can go back into any one of the three original equations uh, to back substitute. I'm gonna do the first one. I know x plus y plus z is equal to three. So x plus one plus one is three. X plus two is three, so x is also one. Okay, so there's our three pieces. Now, how do we represent this answer? Well, if this was, an, uh, like here, an ordered pair, we would do like an x, y value. When we're in three dimensions, a point's just given as an ordered triplet. What we say, the point is an x, y, and a z. So our answer is the point x was one, y is one, z is one. All right, again, since this uh, system since this system has one point of intersection, we say that this is a consistent system. All right, so there's a little bit more work, but you can do the same steps every time. Take a pair of equations, eliminate a letter. Take a different pair, eliminate the same letter. That gives you two brand new equations. Bring those over to the side and solve that system. Once you're done solving that system, back substitute into any one of the originals to find a third value, and then you always give your answer as a point and this is a ordered triplet where it's x comma y comma z. All right, let's try one more of these. I'm gonna give you a system to try here. Now, I'm gonna give you this system to try, but since there's so many choices along the way, the odds of way that you do it is gonna be the way that I do is very, very slim. So your work here is probably not gonna match. So let's see. <coughs> Um. 
Okay, so here we go. Uh, <coughs> here's a three by three system. We have three equations with a total of three variables in the system. Uh, hit pause and see if you can solve this system. And I'll give us some more room while you're doing that. So you should be back by now. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you could have done this system again. Uh, so your work here may not match what I'm going to do. As long as you made it to the right answer in the end, that, that's fine. All right, so we need to decide what letter we want to get rid of. Really doesn't matter here. I think we got rid of X's on the last example. So I'm going to get rid of Y's just because. So I'm going to take equations one and two and I want to get rid of the y. So let me go ahead and copy down equations one and two. That's two x plus three y minus five z is zero. Three x plus y plus z is equal to five. All right, to get rid of the y's, I want the same number in front of the y's, but a different sign. So I need to make both of those the same number. The easiest way to do that would just be take the second equation and multiply by negative three. So the first equation is not changing. That's gonna say two X plus three Y minus five Z is zero. The second equation, if I multiply through by negative three, I get negative nine minus three Y minus five Z is negative 15. All right, let's add these together and see what happens. I get negative seven X, the Y's cancel, I get minus eight Z is equal to negative 15. All right, so we have a brand new equation here uh, that only has X's and Z's in it. I'm gonna call that equation four. All right, again, just for room's sake, I'm gonna squeeze another one in right here. So I used equations one and two, so I can't use that pair again. I can use one and three or two and three. I'm actually gonna use equations two and three this time. Okay, so equation two is three X, plus y plus z is equal to five, and three is negative x plus two y plus three z is four. Now I wanna get rid of the y's again because that's what I got rid of the first time. To get rid of the y's, I want the same number in front but a different sign. The easiest way to do this is just to take the first equation and multiply by negative two. So the first equation, once I multiply through by negative two, becomes negative six x, minus 2y minus 2z is negative 10, negative x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 4. All right, adding these two together, let's see what happens. We end up with negative 7x, our y's go away, plus z is negative 6. Okay, so here we have a brand new equation. Again, this one only has x's and z's in it, so let's call this equation 5. Now again, from here, it's not really side work, but we're kind of thinking about this a little bit of side work. We're gonna take the two equations we just created, negative seven X minus eight Z is negative 15. Negative seven X plus Z is equal to negative six. Again, you don't really need to label them over here, but remember this was our equation four and we called that one five. All right, we want to eliminate one of the letters here. Uh, since we already have sevens in front of the X's, the easiest way to do this would probably take the first equation out and multiply through by negative one. Once I multiply through by negative one in the first equation, I have negative seven X plus eight Z is 15. The second equation we didn't change, it's negative six. All right, when we add these together, that gives me 9z is equal to 9. 9z is equal to 9, of course, z is equal to 1. Once we have one value, we back substitute in either one of these equations. I'm going to go into this one. This one looks a little bit easier. Negative 7x plus z is negative 6. We plug z equals 1 in there. So we get negative 7x plus 1 is negative 6. Solving for x, we get x is equal to 1. I right, notice we now have two of our three values. We have an x value and a z value. To find the third one, you always back substitute into the original. 
pick any one of the originals here that you want. So I'm just gonna kind of box this off here. I'll pick the first one. 2x, 3y minus 5z is equal to zero. So we know x is one, we don't know what y is, and we know z is one. So two plus three y minus five is equal to zero. Three y minus three is zero. Three y is equal to three. Just move the three over, saving ourselves some room so we get y is equal to one. All right, now that we have our three values, again, I need a place to stick it, I so go down here. Remember our answer is always an x, a y, and a z, so our answer is the point one, one, one. Since this system had a solution, it's considered a consistent system. All right, so three by three systems are uh, a little bit more work. Just follow your steps and make sure don't, that you don't get lost when you're trying to make your way through them.